Hey Gemini, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can be somebody, um, hmm, actually I feel like this is your energy, but you can reverse it if that fits for you. Having Knight of Swords and having Two of Pentacles, this is about having to be mindful of what it is that you're saying. Because Knight of Swords is that part of you that may just want to say something like blurt it out without really thinking about it. Having this, it feels like needing to weigh what it is that you're saying before you say what you want to say. So this can be something where you're like, what am I really trying to say here? What am I really trying to communicate? And this can also be like you needing to prioritize communication. If you have something that you need to like clear up or something that needs to be done, something that needs to be said, it feels like this needs to be the first thing on your list to be doing but you also maybe need to do this among other things that you have going on. And also too, when it comes to like what you're actually saying, you need to weigh that to make sure that it sort of supports what you're trying to communicate. But you can be figuring that out. Like, I need to do something here. I need to, to say something and like, what exactly do I say? To have the Wheel of Fortune, this feels like recognizing that the move that you make here is going to have consequences. So keep that in mind. Some having to do with Feels like there's a difference between doing something quickly and doing something the right way and that can be coming up especially too if there's if there's a duty that you have or if there's a responsibility that you have making sure that you're actually doing this properly king of pentacles is basically like everything that you have signed on to do so it has to do with your responsibilities, you keeping your word, you if you have somewhere that you need to show up, showing up and doing that thing, whatever it is. Having the seven of swords here, this can be trying to like get out of something or it can be like there's a responsibility for you to show up and then not doing that. The saboteur is the part of us that's like, oh, you have to show up there at, at three o'clock and sign in. This can be you showing up at four o'clock and then the part of you that's like, oh, I was supposed to be here at three and like write down three o'clock instead of four and it's like a lie, you know? Like this is the part of you that's like your shadow saying like, yeah, you have to show up here, but like maybe we can get away with this. But having Wheel of Fortune, it is not encouraged for you to be doing that. This is one of those times where if you do something and you do it and it's not by the book, there can be repercussions for it with the Wheel of Fortune there. Because Wheel of Fortune is like the cause and effect of things and it feels like a time where regardless of what's happened in the past, right now you don't want to be doing that. So if there's a duty, if there's a responsibility that you have here, you need to do whatever that is or at least be honest even if you can't do that or you're not doing that. It feels to me like Seven of Swords is where there can be a difference between what you're actually doing versus what you're saying that you're doing. And even though King of Pentacles can be that part of you that like wants to be seen in a good light or as being competent or doing what you're like, what you signed on for, whatever. If something is not happening that you're like supposed to be doing, this is a, a warning for you not to like lie about it and to just be upfront about whatever this is. Because even though you can have this little idea here of like maybe we can get away with it, it's not being recommended. The 
this has to do with some type of plan that's being made but yeah there can be a part of you that's like devising some sort of devising some sort of plan this doesn't look like it's a well thought out thing and it looks like one of those things too where like what was happening was really coming to light and for some of you this is a work situation it doesn't only have to be that it, it can be somewhere where there's a certain way that you're supposed to be showing up this could also be somebody else's energy too if it's not yours having seven of swords and having two of wands there this can be devising a plan where if anyone like if the right people saw what it was that was going on this would be something that you would like not want anybody to see because seven of swords wants to do things in the dark you know to get away with things because it's the shadow and so it feels like with the wheel of fortune coming out like there's some there's like an awareness of what's going on so nothing is going to go on and be covered up this feels like everything is going to be out in the light and so you want to make sure that you're doing things in a way that you feel is representative of that because there will be an, an impact from this there will be a cause and effect from this because this feels like devising some sort of scheme but doing so doing so in some type of shadow way it's just gonna leave you in a situation where there will be repercussions for it so you're being advised against it well i mean not necessarily you're actually just being told that there will be consequences for it so this is more so to be aware of what you're doing Like this has to do with a proposal of some sort now i'm seeing with knight of pentacles and two of swords something that has not been done yet you're like do i do it do i not do it do i make that move do i not if you are a cross watcher you can be dealing with a Gemini and there can be something along the lines of this that's going on here. Yeah, there may be, you may put an end to this, like not decide to go through with it. Having Knight of Pentacles and Two of Swords feels like you could go through with something or you may decide against doing that and it feels like with the Death card, you may be like, nope, not going to do that. Having King of Pentacles and having the Death card, this can mean that there would potentially be something that you've been doing that comes to an end. Or it can be a role that shifts, a role that you've been playing that shifts in a very, very big way. Yeah, I see Seven of Swords and I see Two of, two of Wands as this like scheming type of energy but the thing is with the king of pentacles like you're supposed to be doing things in in a certain way the king of pentacles is there are like um there are certain values and rules that need to be followed and seven of swords feels like trying to get away with something by not following those rules and like making a plan that's going to sort of support you doing things in that way and that you can make a move but you get to decide whether you do that or not. Like, do I do this thing or do I put an end to something? Because it feels like something won't be allowed to continue after this point if you put it to an end. But maybe there's a part of you that wants to try to avoid having to end something.
seeing Scorpio, I'm seeing Cancer, I'm seeing Virgo. Okay, Knight of Wands is about, not Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords is an energy that's going to do something and it can be doing something quickly. Two of Pentacles feels like there's a need for balance, there's a need for adjustment. King of Pentacles shows there being, you being in a position of responsibility and a position of power. Seven of Swords and Two of Wands can be devising some sort of scheme that is not like the most well thought out thing. And also too, if you do it, there's the potential of getting caught and then really having that backfire. And it does feel like if you do decide to go through with something like that, having the Wheel of Fortune there feels like it's indicating to you that if you do go through with it, like this won't stay hidden. This is something that there very much will be consequences for this if you happen to do it. But it feels like it hasn't been done yet, but you could potentially do that. Coming back to this point of this having to do with making a move, like a proposal, making some type of offer, just doing something, and you could decide to go through with that, or you could decide to end things at that point because I'm seeing the death card. So this can mean like, I'm actually not gonna be doing this anymore because maybe you feel like you either, you have to do something in a wrong way or you can't do the thing at all. And you, it feels like there's a decision that has to be made between the two of these. Like there's a way to go about doing things. Seven of Swords may make it easier for you initially, but doing so in a way that may really go against your values. And it may be something that you would not want anyone else to see you doing. And the fact that this will most definitely come to light can be wanting to, just keeping that in mind when you're making the choices that you're making. Feels like the other way that you can do this is with the death card, which means that you may step down, you may resign, you may say, like I'm making the call right here, like I gotta transition somewhere else, or this can be a very big abrupt change that you go through, where instead of doing something under the table, it's going to be above board then. But that means too that you're going to have to surrender the old ways, which could be easier when it comes to, I don't know, because I don't actually think that the Seven of Swords would be easier. Seven of Swords can feel like getting away with something or like pulling one over, but at the same time, like you know what you're doing and that does affect you energetically. And so I don't actually think that that's the easier way of doing things. I think we can delude ourselves into believing that, but it's just like listening to the shadow. And so it comes from a place of ignorance. And then we have things energetically that we deal with because of it, like it just accrues karma. Well, like anything we do, accrues karma but there will be there will be an effect because of that and you will be responsible for it even though up until this point you may not have been it feels like this is very much going to come to light so you can either keep doing things in that way or decide to do things in that way or you can make a change and those are basically like the two options that you have but the death card is going to be the more difficult thing to do because it means like actually having to change rather than doing something below board or doing something in the dark, like actually having to correct this the right way, reevaluate, make the necessary changes, actually go through it and actually go through with the transformation. Or you can feel like you're cheating that and not going through with it. But then again, that can be like, you're gonna have to deal with the consequences either way of that. And one of them, I think you would more likely be happy about taking on than another. And I am seeing it be possible. Maybe there's a part of you that feels like you don't know if you can really handle like going through as big of a change as is required from you. You know, like seven of swords can come from that place within us where we actually don't believe in ourselves and we feel like we need to like sneak around or cheat or do something that ends up like coming back to us and en ends up impacting us 
but it can be because you're being faced with a situation that's really difficult and it, it's like that that sneaky little part of you that wants to get away with having to actually go through the real stuff having to actually go through the difficult stuff and even though like in the grand scheme of things you won't really escape it and there will be consequences for doing something in this way at the same time you have the power here in this moment to embrace the death card and to really go through this transformation whatever that may look like and you can work with the part of yourself that may want to do things in a way where it's like scheming and whatnot but is really going to put you at a disadvantage at the end of the day and ultimately you get to decide what you want to do here but i am seeing this feel all like a plan that's being made that action hasn't been taken yet but action will be taken and you deciding what type of role you want to play like you can go through this in a shadow energy or you can go through this in in a light energy which means doing things above board it means like actually having to go through the process and doing things the right way and when i say the right way i mean the way that you know is the right way to go through this because seven of swords is that part of you where like we have this knowing within ourselves of i know that that doesn't actually align and that's why i wouldn't want anybody seeing me doing this you know, it's not something that you'd be proud of versus going through something that may be really difficult, but you feel like, hey, I'm really in this doing this thing right now. And this is not an easy change by any means for me, but I'm embracing that part of myself where there's like control and there's discipline. And ultimately, I'm learning how to wield my own energy and become my own authority within my life like embracing the pluto within your chart versus like trying to scheme and then like there's no growth within that there's just a devolving that's happening and ultimately you get to make the choice and you can feel like if you do this in a shadow way that it does impact you it's going to impact your spirit and you will feel that within you it weakens your energy embracing the death card that's something that strengthens your energy and you see yourself as being like capable of going through the most immense change and growth and you see yourself evolve and you feel power within that even though it can be challenging so we have that scorpio cancer virgo At this point, I feel like you you like know sort of what what is at stake here and also the different sides of things and then you can go forward then from that point. I do want to say I don't know what was happening before. I don't know if you were like doing something sketchy before or whatever, but what I am seeing is that if you decide to go through with something and you do it in a way that you wouldn't want others to see, it feels like it's going to be seen that was the feeling that i got with the wheel of fortune being there so like keep that in mind when you make this choice that you make or go along with this plan that you're that you're creating and that you're going to follow just keep that in mind as you move through this and you can also see too you can get more familiar with the part of you that is the shadow that's like the devil on your shoulder whispering things you can see like what it's been trying to avoid and it can also really unlock if you decide to analyze this part of yourself it can unlock your deepest fears that you have and it can be something where you can really bring light to this part of yourself to understand it and it th those things are what gives you power a sense of power rather than just sort of doing doing all of these things out of fear out of avoidance out of neglect so this is the way that you take your power back all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in i am sending everybody love and i hope to catch you guys next time